name is Susan Merritt, and I work as the art consultant for the Massachusetts Convention Center Authority. I've been with the authority for six years, and we've started a program that literally began um, just as a rotating art program with ver uh, scope and purpose to showcase local artists for convention attendees. And we've grown and grown and grown and grown. We started out with two locations within the convention center, and now we have five locations that showcase art and large-scale sculpture, uh, in addition to a gallery at the Heinz. So we have a busy rotating exhibition program that showcases uh, Massachusetts-based artists. We have um, several different components to the program. There's a neighborhood component that we just saw upstairs, and that show comes in every four months. We switch that art to showcase a different community. Shows down on level one uh, involve work that's much larger, and they tend to last for up to a year. The sculpture also comes in through a gallery, and artists are given a small honorarium for the loan of their art, and that stays for one to three years. So we have a couple of moving parts within, within the program to keep it uh, fresh and exciting. This is our biggest accomplishment yet in terms of size and caliber of art. This is um, such an amazing piece in terms of commanding this this space, it's almost like it was made for this space. It's a true-to-life size giraffe made with a stainless steel armature underneath, like a, almost like a skeleton. And then over that, the artist has um, welded together hundreds of little pieces of brass, um, creating like a, the, the muscle structure and the skin and the eyelashes and the hair of the giraffe. And it's literally, um, 10 feet high by 16 feet long. It's, it's life size. It's a very fun piece. This is a very, um, basically sculpture has to work from 360 degrees. And this is a perfect example of a piece that works from all directions. So if you walk around, it's perfectly symmetrical, but very interesting to look at. Almost like a piece of origami that's been opened up. Yeah. It's made of um, bronze and and aluminum, polished to a very high sheen. So it's a very beautiful piece. This piece is owned by the MCCA. These are done by Artists for Humanity, which is an organization that helps youth um, learn how to make art for a living. And it's high school kids who work with mentors. So these two pieces were done by Artists for Humanity. The rest of the art in this space, this is one of two of the largest spaces in the building where we showcase art. Um, the challenge here is finding art that's big enough to fill the space. And in this case, we brought in um, eight different artists from the Boston area. All of them are African American. They were um, showcased for the Urban League Convention, which took place in July. So we reached out to um, just a smattering of professional artists and asked them for young artists, young emerging artists, who they've worked with or been keeping an eye on. And what we've done is we're featuring four established professional working artists and four younger emerging artists. And they all, um, they all know each other, so it was a very easy, fun show to put together. This is a painting done by Destiny Palmer, who's a recent graduate of the Massachusetts College of Art and Design. And she's worked with Equa Holmes, whose work is opposite on the other wall. Um, Stephen Hamilton is also a recent graduate of Massachusetts College of Art and Design. They share studio space together. Um, Stephen, as you can see, is really into his African heritage. So he's exploring that. Destiny's a little bit more into the abstract work and uses jazz music as her inspiration. And literally, you can see that when you look at her art. You can see the rhythm of different instruments kind of playing all at once. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, this is work, these portraits are by Jason Talbot, who is a mentor at Artists for Humanity. He's um, an art professional who's been working with kids for the last 15 years or so and is now program director for Artists for Humanity. 
This is a painting by Larry Pierce, who is um, also exploring his African heritage. He is a professional established artist who often shows in um, municipalities around the city like the Strand Theater and libraries. Um, this is a painting of Gori Island, which is an island off the coast of Senegal, Africa. And it is the last destination for the Africans before they were put on the boats and brought to uh, America. It's a very moving painting. This is a collaborative painting. Um, Stephen Hamilton and Destiny Palmer, two artists both under 30 years old who have very different styles but managed to fuse their their techniques together into one piece. The figure is done by Stephen and all of the kind of the rhythmic shapes are done by Destiny. Um, and this is a piece, an older piece done by a young artist named Percy Fortini Wright who's someone to really keep an eye on. He is emerging in the gallery scene in Boston and worked really closely with established artists on the other side of the space uh, named Paul Goodnight. It's an octopus made mm -hmm. of stainless steel. It's welded to, um, to, to shape um, and the little pieces are fit on afterwards. And the head is made of blown glass. So actually this armature was built almost like the skull of, a, of an octopus and then glass was blown into it um, while it was still hot and then they uh, blew the glass open a little bit more to expand beyond the, the skull, so to speak, of the octopus and then the whole head was welded to the body. It's a life-size um, reproduction of an octopus that literally looks like it's about to slither off the pedestal. So this is a show that we commissioned specifically for the space on level one on the west side of the BCEC and it's called Face to Face. It pays homage to European and jazz composers. Uh, this is the jazz side. This is the American jazz composers who were hugely influenced by the European composers of the 19th century. And as you can see, Thelonious Monk on the far left, Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, Billy Holiday, and Miles Davis. And as you approach the work, it becomes really apparent that there's more to it than just a simple drawing. Within each little shape, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shapes. So it really reveals itself to be quite a brilliant work of art. This is, um, this is level two on the east side of the BCEC where we feature neighborhood art galleries. Um, we basically rotate around to the different neighborhoods of Boston and showcase uh, neighborhoods through the Boston Mayor's Office of Art, Culture, and Tourism. So we have featured a total of 15 different Boston communities. This is Cambridge. And we have a nice cross-section of different art mediums and different subject matters and different techniques. Um, it's usually a show that's chosen solely on the ability to come together through the colors. Um, as long as there's some sort of harmony within the paintings in terms of color, then it works really well together. This is a horse made by Jamie Burns who lives six months a year in Santa Fe, New Mexico and six months a year in Weston, Massachusetts. And he sculpts using two different materials, Corten steel, which is the rusted part, the legs and the head, and then the body of the horse is made of wood. So he fuses together two different, two very, very different materials. To make one piece. This is a collection of uh, carved wooden elephants by Donna Dodson, who is a uh, California native, moved to Massachusetts to attend Wellesley College, and is now a mid-career artist. She was originally a pre-med major and decided to switch to art and uh, African Americans, African studies actually, and works solely in wood out of various indigenous pieces and carves. Uh, this is a 12 piece collection of elephants called Elephant Parade. They're all different woods, 
um, all similar in the, in the aspect that they stand tall and straight, and they're all female. They range in size from 18 inches high, which is this little one here, to four feet.